Today we are gonna be going through three different options for window covers in your van. Now, if you're planning on living van life or traveling part-time in a van, window covers are definitely something you're gonna want for privacy, especially at nighttime. And before we get going, today's video is brought to you by Squarespace. <laughs> Now, not only are window covers great for privacy, they do help a little bit with the heat and cold transfer through windows because most window covers have a little bit of insulation in them or reflectix, so it'll help with the temperature regulation of your van as well. So the first option that you have is going to be something that is already pre-made for your van. And we have a good friend, Scott, who is actually our original van life inspiration. His light white beautiful van on the inside that Sarah saw five years ago now yeah. was uh, was one of the original vans that we saw that Sarah was like oh I could live in that well he has lived and travels full-time in his van for basically that entire five years and since then has developed a product for van lifers based on his experience and his brand is called the wonderful and he's created really high quality window covers for the Mercedes Sprinter vans and there's a few things that we really love about these window covers. First, they're designed really, really well because they fold up and store really small. They fold up accordion style on themselves and he's even put little snaps on them so you can snap them shut and closed and they store really small. And second, they are magnetic and they fit to the outside frame of your windows. You can get metal stripping to go with it in spots where maybe there's not enough metal exposed from the van but they're magnetic and they store up really small and you don't have to wait for them, they're in stock right now. They are also a lot more affordable than the custom window coverings out there. So thanks to Scott for developing this because it was much needed in the van life space, a more affordable option, but still gives you that look of the custom window covers are super high quality and we absolutely love them. So I'll leave a link down below for Scott's window covers in the description box. Number two is going the custom window cover route with companies like Strawfoot, Handmade, or Muha. We've worked with both of them and they are really high quality products, but again, a little bit more expensive because they are custom made and handmade. So you're also gonna have to wait for them because they usually have a backlog, a queue of so many orders they need to get through yep. before they're gonna to get to you. So usually our experience has been about two to three months lead time on those window covers. So if it's something you want right now, that might not be your best option, but they do typically do all the vans. So Sprinter, uh, the Transit, and the ProMaster versus uh, Scott is just doing the Sprinter right now. Right, so a couple benefits to going with the custom route. Number one, you can pick a color. So with a company like Strawfoot, he offers a few different colors that you can pick from. Or with Muha, they have different options of fabric that you can pick, or you can even go totally custom which is something that one of our clients did. They were able to look at the fabrics, all of the fabrics that he could get and pick custom fabrics that went with their build. Um, now, a couple of the downsides, they don't store up quite as small. The straw foot ones do fold accordion style and still store up pretty small. But I would say of all of the ones, the Muha creatives, they do take up the most space when you're storing them. Mm -hmm. But that is also because I think he tries to put a little extra insulation in his window yep. covers. So that's kind of the trade off um, for that. And again, like Sarah mentioned, the lead time, typically you're looking at six to eight weeks uh, minimum in order to get something once you have ordered it. We still do use straw foot for all of our custom window frames that we build inside the van. Um, and so those work great because we can give him custom dimensions and he makes those so that we can attach them to the backside of our window frames. Option number three is to go the DIY route. This is definitely the most affordable option from Four years ago, we have a great video of Alex doing a tutorial <laughs> for our first van conversion. We used Reflectix and put fabric on both sides, so black on the back and a pattern on the front. And that was, we at the time, All right, I'm gonna that was the see most how affordable. Many views that it has a has. lot. It's not a sewing tutorial, but it is a tutorial on how we did it ourselves in our first van and our second. We did it both times. And I'm pretty sure both of the people that bought those vans still have those same window covers. So they hold up great, but it is, you know, if you're not wow, comfortable. Wow, 130,000 views on that video. It's really good, guys. That's, so we'll that's link that great. too. Oh. 
it's pretty hilarious. Um, but again, going the DIY route, if you have the time, if you have the expertise and you're comfortable with a sewing machine, yeah. could save you a lot of money. Or if you have a mom, aunt, you know, yeah. uncle, someone. One thing we weren't happy about is we didn't put magnets in ours. We were using Velcro and just like the stick-on fabric Velcro, yeah. and then we stuck a piece of uh, Velcro to the window. And so when it got hot, that Velcro started to kind of melt off yeah. the window. So it wasn't a great long-term solution, but it worked when we were doing it. But like I said, I think they're both still using those. Yeah, <laughs> for sure though, using a system that is not Velcro stuck to your window is gonna be yeah. long-term the best solution for yeah. you. So yeah. that's why we wanted to make this video and share this information with you. So today's video is sponsored by Squarespace. We went ahead and wrote this all up in a blog post for you guys with more pros and cons of each option and detailing out the companies we talked about today. And that was built on our Squarespace website. One of the great things about Squarespace is it's super easy to set up your own blog. If you have a hobby, a passion project, you wanna start creating content, it's so easy to go in, set up your own website, start your own blog, and be able to easily add pictures, Amazon affiliate links, videos, tags, categories. It's just super intuitive and easy to use. If you're ready to check out Squarespace, head to squarespace.com for a free two-week trial. When you're ready to launch, head to squarespace.com forward slash 40 hours for 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Hopefully that was helpful. If you are in the middle of a van conversion, if you're already on the road, um, these companies are all really great or going the DIY route is super good too. Just so, depends on where you're at. Yeah. So. If you have something else to offer on the window covering side, please drop it in the comments down below. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you are new to our channel, please subscribe for more content about van life, DIY, professional builds, all that fun stuff that we try to offer you guys here on YouTube. So thank yeah. you guys for See watching. See you guys next time. Bye.